Alrighty folks, what you're seeing here is a Geissler tube. It's an early form of gas discharge tube. Um, uh, it was invented by Heinrich Geissler back in 1857. And essentially it's it's been pumped out. That is, it's got a partial vacuum in there. And it's filled with probably, I'm guessing, neon. But because I sourced this on eBay, I have no clue what uh, gas is actually contained inside of it. What's slick about this is, is this is the precursor to our modern fluorescent tubes um, that we're all familiar with. Um, and what's pretty cool is, is unlike a fluorescent, you can actually see the electron flow in these tubes. So what I'm going to do is turn off the light and start power flowing. And essentially I'm generating high voltage current. And what you're seeing now is the actual flow of the electrons through the, through the tube. So there's um, a metal uh, anodes at either end. Um, cathodes, anodes, depending on which way the, it's flowing. And another slick part of this is, is that these electrons are actually susceptible to magnetic energy. So I'm going to take this uh, neodymium magnet here and actually run it up. You can see it's repulsing the, feet, the electrons and it's pushing them away. And if I turn it around and I use the other pole, you can see it's attracting it now and actually pulling it towards the magnet. See that? And here, let's zoom in real quick. There we go. We'll try it again. See it? How it just pulls it right towards it or pushes it away. Anyways, there you have it a Geissler tube.